surprise, I wanted to stop in, check out your office. Mm -hmm. I don't understand. We shot a remote where I completely cleaned out this office. Right. Do you think deep down you want to be clean? I'm open to it. I'm a little bit indifferent. Do you think you want to be dirty? Not in the way you're referring to. What happened? Uh, that was a few years ago when uh, new things came in. Wow. You've been with me for many, many, many years, yes? Yes. Throughout those years, I've asked you, Jordan, what do you do on the show? Right. And you always say, With all due respect, it's not my responsibility to tell you what I do. If you want to know what I do, it is your responsibility to research and determine. Research? Why can't I just ask you? The circumstances which you perform have uh, dulled your senses and uh, <laughs> created a brain which responds only to the macro, not to the micro. I, on the other hand, deal with the micro. Apparently so does your wife. <laughs> That's a penis joke. You have a fairly large office. OK. And I suspect you do nothing. I think it's possible you could do nothing in half the space. Look, I don't follow your logic. Uh, if you do nothing, you could do nothing in zero space. I want you to still be alive when this is over. If I put you in zero space, which has been a fantasy, it would mean crushing you, atomizing you, right. putting you in a garbage truck and having, watching it be crushed. Right. And you're talking, but then eventually the talking just starts to get quieter, and then it's just a muffled sound, and then the crunching of bones. But you may have noticed there's... And then a liquid seeps out of the bottom of the truck. <laughs> now, I think you can do nothing in half the space. And so what I'm going to do is cut your office in half. Okay? George. Does your ass need to be so close to my face during this process? Was that part of the requirement? You don't need to bring it any closer. The intended effect is going to Bring it in! Is this way? Yep. Hey, Jordan. Yeah. It's amazing how much free space there is over here. Mm -hmm. It's incredible. Hey, Jordan. Uh, yes. It's Conan. OK. Can I come in? Sure. Oh, nice office. Hey, um. As a sort of a gift, I'm putting a, uh, I'm putting a microwave in for your office mate next door, OK? This is going to go in. This is uh, for fish and broccoli only. This is Diane Harmon. Mm -hmm. Diane, well, what's your uh, title at the show? I'm the post-production. Post-production. You've done a lot of great stuff, a lot of great work on the show with the travel shows. I thought you should have your own office. Uh, yes. Jordan, it's Conan. OK. Can right. we come in? Uh, yes. Oh, no. You go this way. Let me get on this side. Hold on. OK. Hold on. Are you hungry at all? Sure. Would you like some lunch? OK. OK. Do you, how do you feel about fish and broccoli? I give it three minutes. I want you pretty much constantly cooking fish and broccoli in this microwave, OK? Sure. OK. I feel bad that you lost your window. OK. You would like some natural light, wouldn't you? I do appreciate airflow and, and okay. sunlight, sure. That's a simple yes. I'm going to solve that problem right now. Would you put these on, please? to look nice. Don't let it be said I don't do everything to achieve maximum efficiency here at the Conan Show. I took one office, turned it into two offices. I guess you could say I'm the best guy ever, huh, Diane? Mm -hmm. Just say yes. Yes. Yeah. What about you, Jordan? I would not say that. Then I told McNulty, what are you talking about? It sounds more like Jasmine to me. <laughs> he, was, he, he didn't know what he was doing. You got to hit that hole.